CJ Stroud uh, back in the lineup. Let's talk about him. Hard to know for sure because we're basically, you know, going off what coaches are going to tell you. And and without having a chance to see him in practice, you basically have to take Ryan Day's word for it. Okay. Um, but CJ is, is supposedly, you know, back to 100%. He's healthy. The week off helped him and, and he's ready to rock. I certainly hope that's the case. I want to see it in person this weekend. Um, what would you constitute as a successful day for C.J. Stroud on Saturday? Successful day for C.J. Stroud, number one, a victory. Number two, no turnovers, no interceptions, no bad decisions. Um, and he's done a really good job, knock on wood, uh, so far this year of not having a lot of bad decisions. And really see him throw the ball confidently. And what I mean by confidently is not airing the ball out early. Uh, I know a lot of people are very concerned. Well, he throws the ball high. He throws the ball high. He throws the ball high. He's going to follow through. If you had a shoulder injury, it's hard to follow through. Anybody that's played any sport in their life or ever moved their arm forward while their shoulder's been banged up, it's tough. I mean, I, I'm, people talk about a flu shot or a COVID shot. Go, oh, I can't move my arm. Like, imagine having your rotator cuff or whatever the area is, and now you're trying to make this violent motion of throwing forward, and you can't do it. And, and it's it's going to be hard to get to that point. Uh, but realistically, you know, a good completion percentage early. You know, we cannot see him throw three or four incomplete passes to start this game off and then have to worry about it. The other thing is not having to worry about, and I coaches, this is a coach talk. Like we got to get CJ comfortable early. We got to get CJ. You don't get CJ comfortable early running the football, giving the football to Travion Henderson, to Mayan Williams, to Master Teague, whatever the elixir is going to be this weekend. And let them establish the run game because Rutgers has done a phenomenal job of being physical and playing on the other line, of, other side of the line of scrimmage. I think they have like 16 tackles for loss to date on the season. Um, they're not a big sack team. They've gone two games without a sack. But what they're going to try to do is establish up front. Let the offensive linemen set their pads early. Let them run the football with Travion Henderson because he is your most explosive player. Give him the opportunity to maybe have a 60, 70 yard touchdown run early and kind of take the wind out of that stadium. Because right now, the Rutgers fans are going to go into this thing, and this is their Super Bowl. It's their opportunity to bounce back from last week's disappointing loss in the big house and really jump on this young team early and have an opportunity. Stay away from the catch-up game, and that's where C.J. Stroud will have the ability to then go complete passes to Chris Olave, you know, to Garrett Wilson, to, to you know, really this all-star receiving uh, crew that they have here at Ohio State. But it's important to help C.J. out with the run game. Do not worry about – we got to get him this or got to get him that early. Don't worry about that. Start establishing the run game. We know it's going to help C.J. Strauss when he looks at the scoreboard and it's our 14 nothing. And he goes, all right, <sighs> exhale. I'm ready to go uh, from that standpoint. I, and I'm guilty of it as well. I think when you're game planning, you always go, how do you get the quarterback started early? Well, when you have a running back who anybody in the country right now, I think, would trade their guy for our guy. Um, I don't know if there's many teams out there like, hey, Dreamman Henderson the, is in the transfer portal. I think he'd probably garner 135 scholarship offers. I don't, I don't know if there's anybody <laughs> in the country that wouldn't like want this guy. Uh, so when you look at it from that standpoint, like let him go run the ball early, let CJ kind of adjust and be ready to go. And it sets up play action. This is the Ryan Day elixir we know. Justin Fields. When was Justin Fields great for the Buckeyes? Play action. All the time. Seven man protection, set it up, let Chris Olave go run, let Garrett Wilson go run. Uh, let Jackson Smith and Jay come underneath. And so you guys are, is you got your cut back. I mean, like, and, and like either way, it's like, oh, that's awesome. Like, am I driving the Benz, uh, the, you know, Mercedes? Yeah, I got the Mercedes, I got the BMW, and I got the Ferrari today. Like, what, what do I want to do? Like, all three are great, like, from that standpoint. So I think that's a great way to settle it down in, in a long winded response. But that's what's going to help CJ Stroud get himself going this early. A couple comments from Ryan Day on CJ uh, yesterday on his, um, weekly radio show Thursday afternoons. He said, I thought CJ had a good week of work. So looking forward to getting back on the field this week. Uh, that was basically the first question he was asked when, you know, asked if he would be out there uh, and then said, I, I thought he knocked a little bit of rust off on Tuesday at the beginning of practice, then got into a good rhythm halfway through Tuesday and then had a good day yesterday. That's what uh, Ryan Day told reporters in his uh, quick press conference after the radio show. Um, so, you know, Look, if you're Kyle McCord or, or Jack Miller, now you've got some game reps this year. Uh, it's not just practice reps, and 
you know, if you make a mistake or if you hold the ball too long, the guys aren't going to just peel off at the end. They're, they're coming to, to knock you down. Uh, and, and hopefully if they are needed at any point that they'll be sharp when they get in there. Uh, but all indications are that, you know, this is still CJ Stroud's team and he's the guy this weekend. And so the Buckeyes are going to try to get going against a, a Rutgers defense that has played well uh, so far in, in 2021.